Hello, right here I have an armed dining chair made by a company called Resinform. This chair was very popular in the 1990s. It actually came in a set. With another one of these chairs, there was two of these kind and four standard type chairs. I'll, I'll make another video on them in a minute. Anyway, this set belonged to my aunt. She had it for like 20 years before she gave it to me because she got a new set. Yeah, these chairs along the table were made very well. Yeah, this patio set hosted hundreds of family get-togethers. You know, we have a lot of good memories with this patio set. So let's take a closer look at it. It's kind of like a resin version of a sling chair. It's got edges to make it look like sling rails. It's just basically a slatted dining chair. The back slots are flexible. So let's look at the details of this chair a little bit more. It's got the tubular legs, but it's just like a sling chair. It's like the arms and the legs are all one piece. Yeah, you can see it. It's just one arched tubular leg. And it's got this support on the back legs to strengthen them a little bit more to keep them from bending side to side. Yeah, this is a very large chair. I have no idea how much it costs to make the mold for this thing. To be honest, these two chairs that I have are the only ones I've ever seen like this. Yeah, look at that chair. It's just like the seat and back is floating on the leg. All it's got is these hollow ribs connecting the legs to the back of the chair. And right here, it's just pretty much got the same thing, but these things that imitate the sling rails. And it's got these lines on it to make it look like it's metal. And the legs in these parts of the chair are all rough textured, but the seat has a glossy mat, and so does the back. I'm not crazy about that number 5 recyclable tag right there. There you can see the resin form logo, as well as how the slats on the back have ribs on them. Yeah, most of you have probably never seen a chair like this, and probably never will. So let's flip the chair over and have a look at the underside. It's a really large, very heavy chair. And like I said, I don't think they'll ever make something like this again. There's the underside of the chair. Not many ribs down there. You can see where the plastic flowed into the mold. It's got one long rib running the whole way down the side. There's a rib on that side running the whole way down. There you can see all the seat joins onto the front legs. Actually it says 197 so these aren't that old. I tell you these slats are not very thick. There you can see the tubular leg and arm a little bit better. It does have this strip that starts right here to strengthen the back of it and it runs the whole way down. Yeah it doesn't have any rubber feet. I mean it is flimsy and it has quite a lot of give to it. You can see how easily I could bend that with the back leg. It's a very nice chair. I think it should be in a museum. Well, there's the resin form chair I have. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, always be comfortable.